welcome to the first instalment of uh, Olive's Camino Adventure. I'm gonna have to come up with a snappier title for that. Um, it is currently 9 p.m. Um, and I'm just packing because uh, I fly tomorrow evening, um, but I have to work in the office all day tomorrow, so I need to be ready to just walk out that door. Um, so I'm just gathering all my bits and bobs, charging all my bits and bobs. So I've got this lovely rucksack that I'm taking. This is, I'm just going to take it as carry on. Uh, that's what I'm taking. Um, and I'm going to walk with that for the next six days or so. Um, that's actually my granddad's, um, rucksack. So it's quite special because it will be like I'm walking with him. Not really, it's a bag, but you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, got all my little, got all my gubbins. I've got um, a silk, uh, what's it called? Sleeping bag liner, just so I can sleep in this if the beds are disgusting. I've um, got a little microfiber towel. got my little pocket first aid gear. I've got enough blister plasters to sink a battleship. Um, got my sun cream, got my hat. And I'm ready. There's nothing else that I had to order ahead of time. Um, is this? Uh, it is my pilgrim's passport. Now I'm not. Uh, I don't technically qualify to be a pilgrim because I'm not religious, but this little bad boy will grant me access to stay in a few of the municipal hostels. Um, so you just rock up and show them your little passport and then they stamp it and you get loads of stamps. I, I won't get many stamps at all. I think I'll only get one. <laughs> Me again. So I'm actually only going to be doing a tiny bit of it from here, Porto, to just before the Spanish border. So I'm just doing like this much of the north coast of Portugal. Okay, the little bag is packed with all my stuff. Please ignore all the other crap in my car. <laughs> uh, I've got my boots and my uh, plain outfit that I'll change into later. Uh, and my little uh, bits and bobs bag. So yeah, I'm all packed up. Uh, now I just have a full day of work <laughs> and then I'll be off. Woo! calm before the storm I have uh, come to mum and dad's for dinner um, before I head off to the airport later this evening um, and I'm just doing the final pack of my bag um, So be streetwise, sweetie. I will. And trust your judgment. Mm. If you think there's a problem, there's a problem. Right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Am I in the video? <laughs> Have fun. Enjoy. Yay. Security is packed. So I arrived at the old airport with two hours to spare. Feeling pretty smug because um, uh, security was empty, like so empty. I've never seen it so empty. And the flight's just been delayed by one hour. I'm gonna grab some snacks because they're closing all the shops. Uh, it is. I think almost 9 o'clock now. Uh, my flight was supposed to be at 9.55, it is now at 10.55. Which means I won't arrive to Porto until about 1am. So, good vibes, good vibes. I've come to the bar. I asked for a half pint of Guinness and it was four pounds and five pence. But he gave me an almost pint, so that's a win.
it's 2.30 in the morning. I'm trying to find my hostel.